and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem merging details. So in this problem, you are given the details of a person where the first element is the name of the person and rest all the elements are the email associated with that person. You need to merge the details of the individuals. In such manner, respecting the constraint, respecting the constraint that if two person, let's suppose X and let's suppose Y, they have the same email as A, then X and Y are the same person. But there is one more constraint that if X and X have a different email, suppose as C and D, then it is not mandatory that they would be the same person. So yes, two people have the same can summarizing this, it would be that two people can have the same name, but two people can't have the same email. So we need to merge the people who have the same email associated with them. So now let us evaluate the sample test cases. So in the sample test case, we are told that John has an email of John Smith, John New York. Then again, there is a person known as John and they can be a different person because same name does not depict that they both are the same person. But these two email are the same. So this means that John has three emails that is this, this and this. And Mary has this email, John has this email. So yes, this is the answer. So, so now this problem is very easy to guess. That is, let's suppose, see what is the common link? The same name is not the common link, but the same email is the common link. So what we can do is for a particular person, we can just have the email and then we can check the email of all the rest of the person. And if they match, then we would merge that person. We can do that. Translating the same in Hindi is that we have a person or a person and we also know his email. So we will check the rest of the people that the same email exists or not. If it exists, then we will mark that yes, he is a person and he is a person and all his email is a person. So this is what we would do. Repeating the same thing so that you would have a proper understanding. For each person, we would just check the suppose we got John Smith. So for all Mary and next John and for again John, we would check if John Smith is present or not. If it is present, we would merge that and we would mark that yes, this John is already processed as of now. We know that for a particular element, we would check all the elements. But how much this is feasible? We are thinking in a direction, but how much this is feasible? Will this be able to fit this in the time limit, given time limit? The maximum number of details is 1000 and details dot length is 10. So for one person, there is 10 emails associated. So for 1000 person, which is the number of person, there is 10 to the power 4 email associated. So if we have one email, then we need to check 10 to the power 4 other emails that is present in this. So if we generate 10 to the power 4 emails, then multiplying 10 to the power both 4 is 10 to the power 8 email. So yes. In total, we just need to check 10 to the power 8, which is equal to 10 to the power 8. So if the total number of operation is less than equal to the number 10 to the power 8, then yes, that is feasible. So yes, we can move forward in this direction. Now, there are some other constraints too, which I want to convey before implementing this, that we need to return the result in the sorted form. So we would be taking help of a set to store the sorted form and to remove the duplicacy. Because if you observe that John Smith and John Smith, this email is present two times. So instead of trying to have the headache of hashing the values, we would be directly using a set and that would be feasible enough. So now let us move to the implementation and you would have a better understanding of this approach. Now let us start the implementation. So here we need to return a vector of vector of string. So we would declare it and we would remember 
so we would declare it and we would name it as answer then we would move forward with iterating over this so for int i is equals to zero i is so let me just rename it to d itself so we would say that d dot size itself and then i plus plus so now if d of i and zero is not equal to the value star so what do we mean by this we mean by this that suppose a's value okay suppose i would just tell you this suppose there is a with the email associated as x y and z and there is one more person suppose b with the email associated as 1 2 and x so these two are same so when we know that b is same as a so we would mark it with a star that yes this already element is already processed do not process it when we move forward okay so whenever we find that yes this person is matching so this just tells us that this this value is already processed so not equal to star means that this element is not processed up till now so we would have set of string of s and then we would have vector of string of b and we would just insert it to the vector answer and then we would say for int so for int j is equals to one and then j is less than d of i dot size itself and then j plus plus and then we would say that s dot insert d of i dash j so i to j is less than this that means this would evaluate all the emails of the person so now after we get out of it we have inserted all the emails of the particular person so now we would try to find all the emails associated with the current person with all the other emails of the person so now we would start processing the other people's email so now for and j is equals to i plus one and then j is less than d dot size itself and then j plus plus and then we would say that if d of j of zero is not processed okay so not processed so then we would go down and we would say for in k is equals to one this is accessing the emails of that person okay then k is less than d of j d of j d of j dot size itself and then k plus plus and then what we would do is we would start searching that element so if s dot find the current email that is d of j of k is not equal to s dot end that means this element is process and present because if there is element is not present then we would point to the last but if it is not pointing to the last that is means it is pointing somewhere that means this element is present so first we would mark that this element is to be processed uh, already processed d of j of zero is processed so after this is processed we would go down and we would say for int k is equals to one k is less than d dash j dot size itself and then k plus plus and then we would say that yes all the emails of this person we need to insert it that is d of g of k so it is just inserting all the emails of both the person first person is already inserted here we found a match that see this element is already present so we would start inserting the emails of this person also so after all this emails is done and all these elements the values are processed we would start finishing that so we dot push push back the value d of i dash zero first we would insert so we need to do it at this position okay so first we would insert the name itself then what we would do is for auto e dash s and then we would say that we dot push back 
the element e itself and then we would say ans dot push back the value v itself and then now you can sort it and then reverse it or directly sort it using the using the reverse iterator that is ans dot r begin and then ans dot r end so yes this is also sorted so now we would return the value and so submit this and see and yes we got an ec so now if you were here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and commenting on the video with a one or understood that's it for today thank you and have a nice day